Hello everyone. My name is Chef Didar Singh, Assistant Professor at Kara University. As you know, we deal with various kinds of cakes during various occasions. Cakes are so eye-catching and appealing. You know the reason why? In this session, I will talk about various wonderful icings and different toppings that makes our cakes look fabulous and mouth-watering. So let's get started. Much of the appeal of cake is due to their appearance. Cakes are a perfect medium in which a baker can express artistry and imagination. A cake need not be elaborate or complex to be pleasing. Certainly, a simple but neatly finished cake is better than an over decorated cake that is done carelessly and without any plan for a harmonious overall design. There are of course many styles of cake decorating and within each style hundreds and thousands of designs are possible. While talking about cake decorating, we need to talk and understand about icings, frostings and toppings. What are icings? Icing is defined as a mixture of confectioner's powdered sugar and liquid enough to be brushed on with a pastry brush or spread. It is usually used on pastries, rolls, coffee cakes and it may be used on simple cakes as well. Icings are sometimes related to or are also called frostings. These are sweet coatings for cakes and other baked goods. They usually complement the cakes. They are rich, soft and simple. They may act as filling, coating or even for decoration of the cakes. Now let's talk about the functions of icing. Icing is done because it adds sweet taste to the cakes and the pastries. It improves the appearance of the product, as in it highlights the cake in itself. Product looks more decorative. It contributes towards the moistness, richness and flavor to the cakes and pastries. They help in preserving cakes and improving the keeping qualities as it covers all sides and the top of the cakes thus preventing the cake from drying out. It improves the keeping qualities as well. Icing also contributes toward the flavor and its quality and making it nutritious and rich. Icings can be applied on a cake using a tool such as palette knife or spatula or it can be applied by rolling the icing out and wrapping it over the cake. The method of application largely depends on the type and the texture of icing being used. Icing may be used between the layers in a cake such as a filling or it may be used to completely or partially cover the outside of a cake or other baked products. Now let's discuss the type of icing. The various types of icings include whipped cream, fondant, buttercream, foam type icing, flat type icing, fudge type icing, royal icing or decorative icing, glaze, ganache. Basic type of icing that we use or see in our daily life is whipped cream. Whipped cream is not only one of the most useful dessert topping and filling but also an ingredient in many desserts. Cream with the fat content of 30% or more but preferably 35% can be whipped into a foam. One part of cream produces about 2 to 2.5 part of whipped cream. In the classical pastry shop, sweetened vanilla flavored whipped cream is also known as cream chantilly. During warm weather, it is sometimes helpful to add gelatin for commercial stabilizer to whipped cream so that it will hold up. It is especially true of whipped cream items displayed on a buffet. What is fondant? Fondant is sugar syrup that is crystallized to a smooth creamy white mass. When applied, it sets up into a shiny non-sticky coating. It is used as icing for Napoleon eclairs, petit fours, Danish pastries, etc. It requires a particular skill and art to prepare fondant. It is a sugar-based icing 
it requires sugar and water cooking up to the temperature of 105 degrees celsius then adding glucose and again cooking to 180 degrees celsius after that we have to bring it to the marble top and bring it to the temperature of 45 degrees celsius we need to again and again fold and knead to form a soft dough the object of producing fondant is to produce minute crystals in a super saturated solution of sugar giving a creamy texture to the finished product now talking about the uses of fondant fondant is used for dipping pâtes fours and pastries it is used as toppings for napoleon and danish it is used for coating on fruits before applying royal icing it is used for dipping fresh fruits to make confections for immediate consumption it is also used for giving pastel colored icing to the cakes what are butter creams butter cream icings are light smooth mixtures of fat and icing sugar they may also contain eggs to increase their smoothness and lightness this icing is very popular and is used for covering many kinds of cakes they are easily flavored and colored to suit a variety of purposes there are five kinds of basic butter cream icings simple butter cream icing is made by creaming together fat and sugar to the desired consistency and adding a small quantity of egg white to be whipped in to obtain the desired lightness decorator's butter cream is a simple butter cream used for making flowers and other cake decorations it is creamed only a little because if too much air is incorporated it would not be able to hold up the delicate shapes marine type butter cream icings are preferred by first beating egg whites and adding a boiling syrup or just sugar soft butter is then mixed into the marine this is a very light and smooth icing french butter cream icing are similar to the icing of marine type butter creams but the mixture is made with whole egg and boiling syrup this is a very rich and light icing unsalted butter is the preferred fat for butter creams because of its flavor and melt in the mouth quality pastry cream type butter cream holds equal parts of butter and cream whipped together and same for fondant type butter cream which holds equal part of butter and fondant creamed together some very important points to remember while preparing butter cream icings are number 1 use butter cream icing in a cool weather second less quantity of shortening to be used while preparing butter cream icing butter cream icing can be stored in refrigerator for several days you must bring the butter cream icing to room temperature before use and if required you can warm it over a gentle hot water bath there are various flavorings that can be added to butter cream which are chocolate coffee praline almond spirits and liqueurs and even extracts what is foam type icing foam type icings are also known as boiled icings they are simple meringues made with boiling syrup and may also contain gelatin as a stabilizer foam type icings should be applied thickly to cakes and left in peaks and swirls these icings are not stable and should be used the day they are prepared the various types of foam type icings are plain boiled icings the example can be italian meringue which includes sugar syrup and egg white the other is marshmallow icing which includes plain boiled icing with gelatin and the third type is chocolate foam icing and filling which includes plain boiled icing with melted chocolate what is fudge type icing fudge type icings are rich cooked icings fudge icings are heavy and thick and they may be flavored by a variety of ingredients they are used on cupcakes layer cakes loaf cakes sheet cakes etc 
to store fudge icings. They must be properly covered with clean film and then kept in an airtight container in the refrigerator. To use stored fudge icing, warm in a double boiler until it is soft enough to spread. They are stable frostings which hold their shape when on cakes and cupcakes. The various types are caramel fudge icing, chocolate fudge frosting, quick fudge icing. What is flat type icing? Flat type icings are known as water icings and are mixture of confectioner sugar, water and sometimes corn syrup, even flavorings. They are used for coffee cakes, danish pastry and sweet rolls. What are royal icings? Royal icings is the traditional covering for Christmas and wedding cakes and is made from icing sugar beaten with egg whites and lemon juice. A teaspoon of glycerin may be added. In the hands of a skilled confectioner, this can be used to produce perfectly flat smooth surfaces or piped into intricate borders patterns which are very fragile but very hard when set. It is always applied over a layer of marzipan or fondant. Royal icing is also known as decorating or decorator's icing. It is always beaten with flat pedal and never ever whipped. It is of brittle consistency and it is also used as a glue in the confectioner's products. What are glazes or glaze? Glazes are thin glossy transparent coatings that give shine to baked products and help prevent drying. The simplest mixture for this purpose is a syrup made from 250 grams of icing sugar in 30 ml of water or milk. They are brushed over small cakes or poured to give a smooth finish. Syrup glazes may contain gelatin or cornstarch. Fruit glazes, the most popular being apricot, are made by cooking them till they melt and then forcing them through a strainer. The various types of glazes are simple that is sugar based, sugar syrup or corn syrup. It is fruit based that is apricot or red currant. It is chocolate based that is melted chocolate plus butter and liquid. Gelatin based pureed fruit or puree of the fruit plus the sugar syrup and gelatin. Ganache Ganache may also be considered as an icing. A flavored cream made with chocolate and fresh cream, sometimes with butter added. It may be used as a sauce or to glaze a cake or it may be whipped and used a filling or icing. Ganache can also be made of stiffer consistency, chilled and rolled into truffles or as toppings for petit fours. It was created in Paris around 1850. Thank you for listening and attending this session. I hope I have made the topic clear and understandable. Thank you so much.